Whoa! Okay, that was a little bit close for comfort. Hello, everybody. Grace to Blaze, and we're checking out a game for the channel called Bermuda Lost Survival. I am so excited about this game. This is an upcoming early access game. I'm checking it out right now before it's even out on early access on Steam. I'm going to have links in the description below if you want to check it out. It's going to be coming out in a couple of days. I've been following this game for a long time, and I've been waiting to get my hands on it. So this is an open world Kind of like procedurally generated crafting, exploration, survival style of game. We're out here on a raft. You can see the sun is going down right now. I'm jumping into not really the middle of a game, but like I would say I've been playing for about 10 minutes. And there's a reason for that. Right now, this build that I'm playing in doesn't have a save function. So I wanted to get a little bit of, you know, further in gameplay to show you guys especially some of the crafting and stuff like that in this game. There is a day-night cycle. There's a sleeping ability. Now, over here in the map, I'm going to show you a couple things. You can see, right now, this is our little area that we have. We're in this tile, and there's another tile over here that looks like it has a ton of resources, and I'd like to get there. But swimming there would be a pain in the ass, so we have to build ourselves a raft. Hopefully. Because this lifeboat is not exactly what... If there's nothing here to power this thing. So unfortunately, all we can do is just survive on it. It does have a crafting box, a little bit of food and water, some medical supplies, and a place for us to sleep. And sleeping in the game is real. You can see on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, oxygen, thirst, food, I guess sanity, maybe? Or sleep, stamina? I'm not really sure what to call that one. Then health, and then your backpack. So real quick, as the sun goes down in the beautiful Bermuda Triangle, and I do love the look of this game. Oh, there's the moon coming up. Already been under the water, and I've already found some really cool stuff. We need something to drink big time. Now, luckily, we have some, like, canned food and drink over here. It, it doubles as both. Tab to check out your inventory. Right-click, use. Right there. Okay, right-click, use. There we go. Scarf down whatever that is. And our, our stuff fills up, and then our pounding heart goes away the pounding heart I think wasn't that kind of like the same thing this this reminds me a lot of raft in, in a lot of ways but it is pretty polished right now now raft is also starting to get polished as I think it's the uh, the developers from scrap mechanic are helping the development team on that one and it should turn out really well anyway let's go down here it's pretty dark but I think we're gonna be okay I think under the water you can see a lot oh yeah here we go look at this we got a coral reef under here when I was down here, I found like a Japanese zero or something. It was awesome. Like there's all kinds of random stuff that you can find down here. Now we want some planks. We want some, uh, some sticks. You can get scrap metal down here. You can harvest the coral. You can get the fish. We got all kinds of sticks and stuff over here. Now, one of the things that the developer noted is that you can't find all the resources that you're going to want in one area. So you're going to have to eventually move from area to area as you locate the various secrets of the Bermuda Triangle, which is really neat. I love this environment. There's actually a lot of resources over there. I can see them, but let's continue to pick this area clean. Oh, also, if we scroll over here to our, our axe, which I made, and I'll show you guys tools in just a little bit, we can go ahead and beat various stuff up under the water to get things. Now, you're going to notice, and I'm very, I I'm, I'm actually happy about this. You're going to notice our oxygen level does not go down very quickly at all. Like, this dude is a freaking beast underwater. I really appreciate his lung capacity. <laughs> because it does get annoying having, like, a super limited oxygen supply. And I get it. Like, realistically, the common man that crashed in a plane, uh, you've got maybe he's a white-collar businessman or something like that. If they can hold their breath for 30 seconds, that's probably pretty good. This dude over here is doing it for like a minute and a half, two minutes. But for the gameplay, you know, not realism, but for the gameplay aspect, I appreciate that. Now, the second you see, right there, the second you see that exclamation point telling you that you're starting to suffocate, always head back to the surface. If you do it the second you see the exclamation point, you will make it. So right over here, we made it. We're not dying. Now, let's get to crafting while the, uh, while the moon rides high in the sky. Over here in our crafting box, we'll move a couple of the other things that we've found. I think we can just combine all this. Yeah, okay, good. I would like to see, like, a shift click or something like that to move everything over. It's possible it exists, and I just don't know about it yet. There's no real tutorial yet. You understand? It's just, like, super early access. So, first things first, 
We need a place to make our stuff. And this is not all the craftable stuff, mind you. A lot of this stuff exists in the other craftable areas, like this workbench. So let's go ahead and make one wooden platform, just something real simple to start with. Look at this. There's doorways and ceilings and all kinds of stuff, man. It's freaking awesome. Bring this over here. Now, to go ahead and put this stuff down, we're going to have to scroll over to our hammer. And you can see right now, shift scroll to move to the different stuff. Right now, all we have is this platform. That's fine. We'll go ahead and put the platform down. Uh, where do I want to place it? Right about here. And now you can rotate it. Oh, God. I was going to say, you can rotate it with the middle mouse button, but I screwed that up. All right, there we go. You can rotate it <laughs> not with the middle mouse button. By moving your mouse up and down, you can rotate it as you will. For right now, I'm just going to put it like this, smash it down, and there we go. We have ourselves a little bit of a platform. Now, I think that we have a lot more materials here that we can use. A drying rack is going to be important. That's going to get us rope, which we use to get uh, a bunch of other things here. But that also is what we use this seaweed that I got from. And you can harvest seaweed. But let's go ahead and craft ourselves a workbench because that's going to open up a lot of the more advanced stuff that we need to survive. Uh, we do not have the appropriate amount of stuff to survive right now. Like, we're going to die if we don't get food and water. So this workbench, I'm going to put it... Uh, you know what? I am going to put it on this side. And I'm going to put it as far over... Eh, you know what? Eh, I'll put it right about there and we'll rotate it so that it's looking right about like that. There we go. Workbench done. F to use. Now you can see, we have a lot more things that we can build here. We got a barbecue bucket. There's a water distillery though. This is super important. We've got to do this. Planks and sticks and scrap metal. We've got a dock. This is where we get our raft from, which is like epically important because that's what we're gonna use to sail around the board. Standing torch just for cosmetic and lighting purposes. Windows, stairs, uh, and then a little chest to kind of put things in and organize materials and a wooden door. So for right now, I think we're going to have to concentrate on this, the water distillery. So we're going to need more scrap metal, more planks, more sticks. Let's see how much stuff we have. I don't know if we have enough stuff yet. And we're also going to need, we are going to need to get our food and drink situation under control very quickly. I'm going to go ahead and use another one of these cans of food over here. That should get us doing okay. Go ahead and let it fill up here. Okay, good. Now over here, you can see bottle. We need scrap metal, sticks, and some rope to unlock this. So we are going to need the drying rack. Uh, so let's go ahead and make that drying rack because we want to get our water situation under wraps. So get the drying rack done. Go ahead and throw that over here on our sad little platform. We'll probably put it down. This sad little platform is going to be our initial crafting area because, like, our, our, our look, you know, we're very limited right now, okay? So I'm going to, Gray's going to use what he's got for right now. Okay. So boom, right there. There's our little drying area. Let us grab. I think I have a ton of seaweed sitting in here. Thankfully, I do. How's the uh, how's the how's the weather looking outside? I don't know if there's storms or anything like that. If there is, that would be freaking amazing. Let's go ahead and start running this, and it'll start turning everything into rope. I don't think that you need to be here while this is running. No, you don't. Okay, thank you, thank you so much, developer. Oh, I'm so glad that you don't have to be there. So what I think we'll do is we can. We can sleep for a little bit if we wanted to. Over here in our bedroll. Uh, let's see. How long would we rest for for the sun to come up? Five hours of sleep. Uh, now, remember, we don't have a save function yet. But let's go ahead and rest for five hours. We don't really need it, but I don't want to keep you guys in the dark the whole time. That feels kind of dirtbag-ish of me to do. Even if I get a little bit thirsty and slowly start to die doing it this way, it's for the purposes of YouTube, okay? And for YouTube, I'm going to do it. Now, does this thing continue to run? Oh, yes. Oh, it does. Oh, so good. Okay. So let's go ahead and throw the rope in here in our inventory. And let's check this bottle out. Scrap metal, sticks, and then the rope. Okay. So we should have enough. I'm pretty sure we do. Oh, yeah. We're going to have enough. Right there. Right there. Unlock the bottle. Bottle's unlocked. And I think it's auto-equipped, too, so we're not really going to have to worry about it. I think I'm going to move some of this stuff over here for right now just so that it's not in our inventory taking up weight because weight is a thing so that's something we have to do okay water distillery scrap metal planks sticks okay we have the scrap metal i think that we may even have some planks oh we have a lot of planks let's go ahead and split this uh yeah 21's fine bring it over here this is right i mean this is the, like this game has so much potential and like i said i really like the aspect 
of the Bermuda Triangle. I always thought it was cool. So I like that we're here, out here doing this together. Okay, scrap metal, plank sticks. All right. Let's go get those sticks, boys. Here we go. Grab our axe of power. Oh, our water bottle, too. Now, I don't know. I wonder if you just jump in to fill it. Let's find out. Yes! Good! Good. Oh, there's a shark down there, too. All right, I'm going to get a little drink of uh, air. A little drink of air. I'm going to get a sip of air over here. We're good. Down we go. Now we have this big old wreck right over here. We can check this out, but I think I've picked a lot of the area clean. I don't know if the resources respawn or not. Uh, because... Whoa! Okay, that was a little bit close for comfort. Not... Uh, these sharks don't seem to be super aggressive. But I'm not a big fan of having a shark go almost up my freaking nose while I'm down here trying to harvest sticks and rocks and stuff like that. So we have, this is, like, this coral area over here is so neat, too, this rock structure. And you'll see that a lot of these ships and a lot of these boats are from different eras. And I like that, too. Like, you'll see ones that look like Viking boats. You'll, I haven't seen anything that looks like a very, uh, modern boat yet. Like, we have some oars over here laying on the ground. Looking sweet. We've got a couple more planks over here. Now, if we go inside of the boat, is there anything in particular inside of here? I don't see anything yet. Now, what? Oh, look at this. There's a little stick over here. I'll grab a stick. Can never have enough sticks, baby. Tell you what. Teeming with life. The area is teeming with life and fish and stuff like that. And we're going to be hunting some fish. Don't you worry. But not right yet. For right now, we need lots more resources for the moment. We're gonna have to hit the, uh, hit the surface pretty soon here, but Gray's gonna try and get maybe another stick or two. Now nah, I think we're good for right now. Alright, let's start hitting the surface. This is all the seaweed here is all harvestable, so we can harvest all this stuff as well. And harvest it we shall do. What do we have stick-wise? Ten sticks? Uh, we may be able... Let's go into the water real quick. We may be able to get our distillery prepared. And like I said, for right now, I'm just putting everything very close. Now, I don't know if you can pick stuff up, like, once you put things down, if I could, like, move a distillery, or if I could move any of these items. If you can, that would be amazing. Because, like, I don't want to, like, it looks very, very craptastic right now. Oh, I don't want to exit either. That would be, I would cry myself to sleep if I exited out. So, let's not worry about that for the moment. That's just, uh, that, that's, we'll save that crap for later. Over here with our rocks and sticks and stuff like that, our one little bottle of water. Water distillery. Let's go ahead and craft this because, like I said, water is the issue. Food, not so much. Water, big problems. Big problems. So let's go ahead and put our distillery down. Uh, and, oh, can I get it in the corner over here? Oh, I can. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put more platforms down anyway, so I'm not going to feel too bad about this. And we'll put it... We'll put it... Ooh, it, it goes inside of something else? I mean, like, space-wise, I can't do it. Space-wise, it makes sense, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so inside of here, throw our water bottle in. All right, now what else do you need, distillery? Now, it may need some sticks and planks, perhaps. Ah, right there. Planks. Okay, so you have to, you have to fire it up in order to make the water. Now, how long does it take to make the water, I wonder? Like... Do I, do I have to fill it with water, or can I just put the bottle, like, if I take this out, all right, and then I take my water bottle, okay, like, you can see it right there. What, uh, I mean, I don't want to drink this or anything. Oh, you can fill this up with a lot more salt water than I thought. Ooh, and I think the water is coming into a little bottle right there. So I'm going to keep filling this up over here. Again, I don't know how much salt water I'm allowed to put in here. Uh, I, I mean, I got 10 in here for right now. So, salt water. All right, so let's... How about all that? Oh, yes! Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere, boys. Let's fill her up. In fact, for right now, I'm gonna spend a bunch of time getting salt water here. Oh, you can hold it down! Oh, this is so much better. I had no idea. You can hold it down and get all this salt water. Oh, yeah, look at the salt water flow! All right, let's find out how much salt water we're allowed to put in here. We're up to 10, 11, 12. Can I have unlimited salt water? 
I'm up to 30. All right, whatever. So we've got 30 salt water right now. I'm going to go ahead and throw that in there. We get, we're getting charcoal as well, which is pretty cool. We've got clean water over here, plus 20 thirst. So let's go ahead and put that in, in our inventory. And let's go ahead and use a little bit of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, so much better. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now our thirst is getting cranked up to 11. So... It does burn through a lot of wood. It burns through a lot of wood. But let's go ahead and get a dock done. We need planks, sticks, scrap metal. Got it. Let's do it, baby. Oh, I found Stickville right over here, boys. Oh, it's friggin' Stickville. Sticks, from what I've seen, are a little bit more difficult to get than planks. You can get planks from beating up those boxes and stuff like that. But you can't get any sticks from it. I would like- it would be cool if there was something that you could harvest for sticks. Like, I don't know, maybe, like, if we could start harvesting the ores or something like that for the sticks, that would be fantastic. But for right now, you just gotta keep your eyes peeled and find all the sticks you can. And sticks we have found! Oh! Oh, all the sticks! I never thought I would be so happy to find a treasure trove of friggin' sticks. Now, we do need a lot of these planks as well. So, especially if we're gonna be burning planks like friggin' hotcakes, in order to make our clean water. And now that we do have the clean water system going, our ability to survive is going to be substantially better than it was. So I'm going to get these stones too, because we can make spears out of, I believe, the stones and the sticks and some rope. And that's going to allow us to start beating up fish so that we can uh, get some food because right now we don't have a renewable food source and we're definitely going to need a renewable food source over here more planks more sticks big time oh yeah now we're, oh 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 look at this we can harvest this entire boat oh yeah okay all right let's get to the surface real quick we're going to harvest we're going to harvest the crap out of some boats baby now i did see oh we're going to start we're going to start dying in a little bit Woo! That was close. That right there was close, boys. Back down we go, though. Back down the hatch. Now that I know that I can beat up this boat, we're going to beat the crap out of this boat. Oh, but we need, we need scrap metal big time as well. We definitely want to make sure that we find some scrap metal. But this is an easy way to get logs, or logs, to get planks. Um, so what we're going to do... Now, you do float a little bit. If you notice, when you don't touch anything... You slowly start to float up. So, I think it would be cool, like right now, if you press space bar, you can move to the surface that way. That's how I ascend extra fast. I look at the surface and then I hold down the space bar to move like extra fast. If like the, uh, the control button or, or the shift button or something would allow you to descend, I think that would be particularly helpful. Okay, so what it looks like is the dark... The darker, like, more beat-up style of wood, like the rotting, moldy wood, you cannot harvest. But any of this nice, clean wood, you can harvest. Oh, look at all these planks. Our backpack is filling up super fast. Oh, this is so good, though. Because the planks are what we need to continue to get more and more water. So I don't feel bad about burning those, those planks that we had at all now. Backpack's getting a little heavy. Let's go head over here and uh, drop things off as we do. Um, it's interesting that you can't, uh, you can't have your hands free. Like, I'm always gripping something. Let's go over here by this water and see if we're still making water. Oh, yeah, the water continues to be made. So good. Let's go ahead and put this in here. I'm not going to worry about any more of that. Let's go back over here and drop down sticks. Drop down planks. And now, can we make a dock yet? Oh, we need more scrap metal. Um, do I have some extra scrap metal over here? I'd like to get that dock made right now. We have stones and planks, but no more scrap metal. Okay. So we need to find scrap metal. Big time. Uh, and we will. So let's go over here. How much salt water do I have left? Quite a bit. And there's a couple of planks still working. So it's doing okay. Let's head back under the water. Found scrap metal right over here. These barrels are perfect. This is exactly what we need. Oh, this is good. And we're going to be able to go, hopefully, over to the next tile. So let's go ahead and break these down completely. We want as much scrap metal as humanly possible. I don't know how much you get from these barrels. I'm hoping maybe... Okay, five. Eh. I would have liked to have seen more, but whatever. This is fine. 
Let's go ahead and break this down. So we're gonna get 10 scrap metal from these. And right in this area, there's actually some more sticks and stones and stuff like that. And there's more ship stuff over here that we can get to. I'm gonna grab... Do we, we don't really need that many of these planks. These sticks, though, are always rare, like I said. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of sticks. We're gonna have to get to the surface. In fact, we need to get to the surface now. Let's do this now. Oh, Gray's gonna cut it close! Gray's gonna cut it close! But we're gonna be fine. I, I know the timing. I know how it go. Yeah! Alright. We made it. Where's my raft at? Oh, there it is. Alright. Back over here. The dock. Let's craft it and see what it does. I'm very curious about this. Very happy about this, too. Boom. Dock. Now, I've never done this before, so I don't know, like, if you have to put it somewhere or... Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's a decent size. You know what? Let's, um... Can I put it over here? Let's put it on this side. Actually, let's, um... Let's put it on this side. Blocked. Don't give me that. It's not blocked. Right? Maybe it is blocked. How about on this side? There we go. Oh, I'll bet because the raft has to launch in that direction. Place. Boom. Right there. Okay. Yes. Nice. All right. So a raft. Planks. Rope. Sticks. So we need a lot of rope. We need a lot of planks and sticks too, but we have a lot of this. Um. Okay. So let's start getting our rope on. Over here, I think we have... What do we have? Like eight pieces of rope. Seven pieces of rope. So let's take a quick drink. We've got plenty of water. So there's no reason to not use it. As a matter of fact, can I put this in my quick access? Oh, yeah. There we go. So, yes! Okay, good. So we can do that like that. Food-wise, we're still looking okay. Grab our axe. Let's go head down here. And all, all right here, all this seaweed. We're going to start smashing up. We want all this seaweed over here. With our axe. Oh, not the axe. I'm sorry. Need the, need the knife for this. Now, you can upgrade these, by the way. I don't know what happens when you upgrade them. I've never upgraded this stuff yet. So, I don't know if, like, it harvests better or faster or something. Or, like, if you get more per harvest or something like that. I almost slapped that fish right in the face. Those fishes are almost slapping me in the face. Fishes are everywhere. So, 19 seaweed. I'm going to get all this. All right, over here. For our seaweed on here. Should start making rope big time. 13 ropes for that. Okay, so that's going to put us right where we need to be. Uh, I think it needed, what did it need? Like, 20 planks and 20 sticks or something like that? Uh, oh, 20 planks and 10 sticks. So we are gonna need more rope. But let's go ahead and grab our planks for right now. Uh, we'll just go ahead and split it. And then, actually we'll split it one more time. Oh, you, can you, oh, I can change this. Okay, sweet. So let's just do two. And then, I don't have any more sticks over here. We do have some rope. So let's grab this rope. And that's going to give us just enough rope, I do believe. So put this over here and this over here. And then, yeah, 20 pieces of rope, 10 sticks. All right, let's get them sticks. I see you there, sticks. Actually, that's all rocks. I think the sticks were around this way over here. I saw, is that a stick right there? That is a plank. But since I'm going past it, we'll grab it. Here we go. Here we go. How you doing, shark? You don't want none of this. I got an axe on me. I will axe you a question all day. Roll up on me, Shaggy. You must not know. Now, do I get two sticks for this? No, just one stick. It kind of looked like it would give me two sticks because it's like two sticks next to one another. But I guess it's just a beat up stick. It's just a broken stick. So we have six right now. I'm going to get, as I go past this stuff. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got it. There we go. Now, you can't, you can't switch your, uh, your knife in the middle of harvesting it looks like so like it when you're in the middle of the action you can't you can't change it around but i'm gonna get a little bit of it as i just kind of like maneuver here and there because i need to fight we need more sticks we need a lot more sticks actually more that's planks over there let's see over here more ores more planks actually there's a lot of planks over here i want those sticks Oh, and you can harvest this coral, too. Luminous coral. Eh? What does it do? I'm not really sure. I don't know if, like, you can, like, put it in your hand to see... Oh, there's sticks over here. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay. Hold on. Let me get up to the surface. Oh, this is gonna be close again. Cutting it a little bit close, but if we go straight down, there should be more sticks that we can grab. Oh, we're just barely gonna make it... Ooh! And as the sun sets in the Bermuda Triangle... More sticks are to be found. 
Sun's going down, boys. Day two in the Bermuda Triangle. Still haven't found civilization. Water and food are scarce. Actually, they're not. There's like water and food everywhere. As long as we keep doing what we're doing, we should be okay. Now over here, I've got more of that so we can go ahead and put more. Oh yeah, we're gonna be getting like lots and lots of rope. Let's go ahead and bring this rope over here for right now. This coral, basic crafting material. I just don't know what we what we use it for yet. Is it like the standing torch or anything? No, nothing like that. Uh, nothing over here. All right, I went to sleep. Just woke up nice and refreshed. Took a little uh, little drink of water, a little eat of food. Over here with our rope. There it is. Unlock the raft. Oh, yes. And the raft is here. Oh, look at this. We got a sweet little raft. Okay, so let's go exploring. Uh, before we do, we should probably grab some supplies. So let's uh, let's grab one of these. Actually, let's grab two of these. We've got water on us. So that's good. Oh, it moves everything over here. Look at this. It moves your... I didn't know that. That's pretty sweet. So now our crappy raft is left in the dust. Do you get a crafting box in here as well? Wow, we get a free crafting box? That's amazing. We get a free chest as well. Wow, so building the raft is amazing. Like, totally want to build the raft right away. Okay. So we're facing this direction. Now, can you move while you have the map open? Yes, you can. Okay. All right. So let's go head out over here. Move around a little bit. Now, it doesn't move super fast. All right. And we're going to check this other wrecked area out over here. It's a brand new day. We got plenty of food and drink on us. Now, I left all my materials back there. If you know, I didn't take, like, any of the sticks and stuff like that. I'm not super worried. It shouldn't be... Maybe I underestimated how far it is, but it shouldn't be that far. I would say we're going to make it over there in, I don't know, maybe like three real life minutes. So I'll see you guys once we're over there. Oh, we're crossing the tile. What's going to happen? Oh, okay, nothing. I didn't know if like something crazy would happen or something like that. Now, if you notice, there's like tiles that are blacked out over there. Or not blacked out, but just like darkened. I don't know if that means anything. Now, it looks like this area over here is substantially larger than the area that we were at. So, it's totally possible that this area is just flat out better or something. One of the things that you can do in Bermuda uh, is you can make, like, little outposts at all the different tiles. So, it's not like we're only going to sit at one tile and we're only going to be there forever. I, I wouldn't want to anyway. Like, the exploration aspect is one of my favorite aspects of the game. Oh, we're coming up to it. What sort of treasures... What we find over here. Got our axe. Got our knife. Got water. Got food. All right. Here we are. Wow, this is this is a big, big place over here. I'm actually really happy about that. Okay. So, we're right at the left-hand side. This is far enough. Let's go head down and see what we got. Oh, wow. It is way deeper than what we had before. Deeper and darker. Holy crap. All right. Let's 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 find out what's down here, though. So this is why you get so much... This is why you get so much uh, of, your, of your ability to breathe. Because look at this giant ship that's down here. Oh, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Look at this. There's boxes and stuff down here. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's bust this up. We're going to get... We're going to get planks and we're going to get scrap metal for this. Oh, so good. More sticks and stuff in here. Can I get in here? Oh, I kind of can. Wow, look at this. Get inside this whole frame. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm kind of getting caught. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, hold on. Let me see if I can... See if I can weasel my way out of here. There we go. Woo! Almost got caught inside there. I was getting a little worried. I was getting a little freaky. Oh, look at this. It's like a pirate ship. There's the... There's the... That the stern? It's called the stern, I think. Now, see, like, right over here, like, if you could bust this up and get sticks, that would be perfect. Or, like, if you could bust this up and get rope, that would be really cool. All right, let's head over to this side and see what we have. Definitely want, like, a flashlight or something. That's why I'm thinking I want, I'm curious if, like, that, uh, that coral, if we can turn that into, like, some sort of weird underwater lantern or something like that. Now, there's, like, a big wide open expanse over here, it looks like. I'm curious. Ooh! Got some barrels over here, boys. You know what barrels are good for. 
They're good for busting up for scrap metal, baby! Good for busting up for scrap metal big time. I really want to get our raft upgraded. I'm so sad that right now there's no save. Because I think we got a lot of work done. I think we got some really cool amount of work done. I'm ha I'm so glad I got to see another tile. Just to see what was over here. Let's keep checking it out though. Like I said, there's this whole like... This whole little valley over here. I'm going to go up this way. And we'll kind of follow... The rock and the coral and stuff like that over here to this shelf. Look at this big shelf over here. That shark's just kind of hanging out. He's not bothering us. We won't bother him. And right over here, planks. Okay, we've got another ship that's down. And a lot of planks on this ship. A little bit of, little bit of sticks and stuff like that. I'm seeing over here. The sticks I love. More sticks the better, baby. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Look at the upgraded levels to this. If you upgrade a more effective sharpened axe made from scrap that can harvest further materials. So that's pretty good. And I assume it's the same thing over here. More effective made from scrap. Okay. So the scrap metal is what you want to upgrade this. And you also, you need rope though for a lot of it. So getting the, uh, getting the seaweed and turning that into rope would be very important and very valuable to kind of keep that going. So this area over here, pretty neat. More, just a lot larger area to explore. Uh, like I said, we've seen some ships on the ground over here. We saw like a big pirate ship, which was pretty cool. Actually, I'm going to head this way. Let's head this way back over toward our raft and just see if we see anything unusual on our way over. Looks like there's another piece of a ship's hull over here. With a lot more planks and stuff like that. That's pretty sweet. Another barrel for more scrap metal. Actually, another barrel for more scrap metal. So all kinds of scrap metal over here. And I think I see another ship in the distance over there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Iron ore. Oh, sweet. We found iron ore. Okay. That sounds like it's pretty important. I know I saw something that said, uh, some of the upgrades you need iron for. I think the spear needed iron or maybe it was the uh the bottle needed iron or something like that so this is cool so we can harvest this iron ore as well and wow you get quite a bit over here holy crap what are we gonna get like maybe 20 pieces of iron ore i don't know if there's a foundry or a forge or anything like that we're getting pretty low on our we're getting pretty low on our uh, uh oh uh oh uh oh i'm gonna go ahead and remove this real quick Oh, we're gonna start suffocating. We're gonna start suffocating. Start suffocating, babe. We ended up with too much weight. I should have thought about that. I've never had that problem where I had so much weight that it was gonna kill me. That's cool, though. I'm glad that we found iron ore in the game, too. Like I said, you have to go to these places to get some of these more rare resources. So that was pretty slick. Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna be it for now. What do you guys think? Of Bermuda Lost Survival. This is... Well, there's a lot of potential here. And I'm really liking what I'm seeing so far. The save function is going to be amazing. Once we get that save function going on. To be able to build up our area. Or to build up our, uh, our, our raft. And have that saved. And to build up our little raft land. Like we can build an entire houseboat and all that kind of stuff. That's going to be really slick as well. Feel free to let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like I said, links in the description to check out the game when it comes out. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.